are gonna learn the song Happy Birthday on the piano. Are you ready? Now there are a lot of different ways to play Happy Birthday. There are different keys you can use and even different ways to change the rhythm just a little bit in Happy Birthday, but we're gonna do it our own way. And you are gonna notice that this is in one of our new time signatures. Three, four. I want you to hear the first part of Happy Birthday. This is the first four measures that we're gonna learn right now. Here it is. A little look at the reading music. Here it is. We've got a four measure pattern and the first two measures and the second two measures are pretty similar. They're almost the same, but we'll talk about how they're a little bit different. Okay, look at the first measure. Wow. Okay, you're gonna play two G's in bass clef with your left hand. Okay, and you're gonna play those with your number three finger on the left hand. So you're gonna play G, G. And those two eighth notes together are one beat, beat one. Hello. Move over to beat two, and you are gonna play an A with your second finger, and that's a quarter note. So that's gonna take up all of beat two. And then we're only going to three beats, because it's three, four time. You're gonna go back down to the G, to play the third beat, and that'll again be with your third finger. So there's your first measure, Woo! okay? One and two, three, right? G, G, A, G, that's how you play it. All left hand, your right hand is resting. It's not doing anything. Let's move to the next measure. Now, this measure has a quarter note in it, right? And now we're gonna move over to the right hand. That little line is middle C. The note on it is middle C, and we'll play that with our right hand. Hand. That'll take up one beat. You'll play it with your thumb, your number one finger, and then there's a half note. That's going to take up beats two and three yes. in this measure, and you're going to play that with your number one finger on your left hand. That's a B. That's coming back over to B with your left hand. So it's your thumbs that play this measure, and that's the two U in Happy Birthday. Let's look at the third measure. I've seen it before. And so have you, it's the same as the first measure. So, do you remember how we did the first? You'll do it again, right here for the third measure. Move on over for that fourth measure, and what do you see? I see two notes in treble clef played with your right hand. It's gonna be a D and a C. The D will be played with your number two finger, and then I see a C. That's a half note, and that's gonna be played with your number one finger. But remember, you know this song, yeah. okay? So I want you to play it the way you normally hear it, okay? Play along with us. Don't think too much about the reading music unless the reading music is pretty easy for you. If it's not, just play along with us. Have some fun and remember how your fingers play this song and how it sounds, not so much on the reading music because it's in our new time signature. But I wanna practice. Are you ready to do these first four measures and repeat them a few times? Woo! You are gonna hear three clicks to start us out. Not our usual four because this is in three, four time. Listen for those clicks and let's get started. Here we go. You can do it. Friends, here we are, we're gonna learn the next part, the next four measures of happy birthday, and this four measures, plus the first four measures that you played and learned, is gonna make the whole song. Let's listen to these four measures. Great guys, what'd you think? This is the second part of Happy Birthday. You know it, right? Yes. All right, let's take a look at the reading music. 
Here we have our four measures, treble and bass clef, using both hands. And we're gonna go back and forth a little bit more, these four measures, all right? Take a look at the first measure. It is in three, four time, of course. And so we're gonna only be going up to beat three. Wow. What do you see in beat one? I see G, G, played by your third finger on your left hand. Then for beat two, it's a G played the next octave higher with your right hand in treble clef, you'll play that with your pinky. Then you'll come down to E for the last quarter note in the first measure, and you're gonna play that with your third finger, okay? All right, friends, let's look at the second measure. The second measure just has three quarter notes in it. Hello. The first one will be played by your right hand on C with your thumb. Then the next one will be played by your other thumb. Woo! On the B, you'll play B with your left thumb. Then you'll play A with your left pointer finger. And there's your three quarter notes. Let's move to the third measure. You're gonna play F, F with your fourth finger, right hand treble clef, okay? Yeah! Then you're gonna play the E with your third finger. Then you're gonna play the C with your first finger. So F, F, E, C for this measure, okay? Did you have a good look at that one? Let's go to the last measure here. It's the two U and I see a quarter note and a half note. Yes. And that's gonna be D, C. The D is your second finger. The C is your first finger, your thumb, to finish off the song. Let's practice these four measures a few times. You're gonna hear three clicks to get us started. Are you ready? Are you at your keyboard or piano? Woo! Well then let's do it. Here we go. Hey friends, you've learned the first four measures and the second four measures of happy birthday when you put them together. It's eight measures. Let's listen to the whole happy birthday song right now. Here it is. Hey friends, there it was, the whole happy birthday. Can you do it with us? Yes. I know you can. But let's take a quick peek at the reading music. There are all eight measures. Wow. So we have looked at the first four and the second four measures before, and now we're just gonna combine them. We're gonna put them together. Okay. If you wanna look closer at the reading music, go back to our other lessons about happy birthday. Right now, I wanna get you playing. There it is again, our reading music. And we are gonna play Happy Birthday, starting with three clicks, and you're gonna play the whole song two times. Can you do it? Woo! I know you can. Play along with us. Here we go. Could you, could you, could you? I did it. Do you want to go back and practice some more, or do you want to slow it down and practice on your own a little bit to get comfortable playing Happy Birthday? Well, I hope you had fun because I had fun. Great job. And maybe you can learn this song. So the next time someone you know has a birthday, 
you can play it for him on the piano. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Friends, here we are at the Jam Along for the Happy Birthday song. Now we're gonna put some different music to Happy Birthday and make it sound a little bit different than you're used to hearing it. But you're gonna hear three clicks and then we're gonna play the whole song a bunch of times. Yay! Follow along and of course, let's have some fun. Here we go. You can do it. Happy Birthday! 